We're back now with Beth Budak and Summer Schwartz talking about helping the homeless youth in our community. You know, you, you've both got the programs and the facilities and the plans, but do the kids, how do the kids find out that you're there? How do they know you're available to them? Yeah, so um, our biggest piece is going into the schools. Um, we do a lot of prevention education. We go into high schools, we go into middle schools, and we tell kids who we are and what we do um, and all the different ways that we can help. And I'm always, I always tell kids, I'm like, you know what, you may never need us, but like, I'm still going to tell you all about us just in case maybe your friend does or you know, a teammate or a classmate or somebody you know does so you can get them connected to our program. And we do the same thing. You know, we're in schools, but also I would say probably the most uh, referrals that House of Hope gets, especially for young people, is word of mouth. So my cousin stayed there or, you know, something like that. Um, people who've been in our program uh, meeting other kids who need it. And that's terrible, too, when somebody has to say, my cousin stayed there and I need it, too. That must be a whole different family situation that not a whole lot of us uh, are, are privy to. You're both taking part in a program called On the Move. Yes. What's yes. On the Move? <laughs> yeah, so Youth on the Move is our awareness campaign. Um, every November, it's National Runaway and Homeless Youth Prevention Month. So we partner with tons of agencies and organizations and businesses, and we put green footprints on them. Um, and the footprints signal that when kids walk, they're not alone, but they're beside their community. So the footprints are safe and supportive places that kids can go to. They can get information. The ones in Green Bay have care packages, and they can get um, information to get them connected to us if they need us. So. Yeah, absolutely. And um, every one of the organizations in Green Bay that has agreed to be a part of this has also agreed that um, any youth who comes in won't be, um, you know, kicked out for loitering. They'll yes. be able to get warm, use Wi-Fi for as long as that business is open. That's a heck of a good idea. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's community service on the parts of the businesses. Yeah. Um, you mentioned gift packs. Mm -hmm. What's in What's them? What in do them? these kids need? Yeah, so um, the basic needs bags that we have at the locations in Green Bay are, um, you know, it's a bottle of water, it's a granola bar, a little bit of, you know, food, um, it's feminine hygiene products, a pair of socks, mm -hmm. um, and then information about how to get in touch with uh, resources. Yeah, and then Homebase also has a separate care package program <laughs> um, that any youth or any family that has kids in the home um, can access, and it is cleaning supplies and hygiene products and clothes and we have some shoes. Um, it's all the things that you could need. I tell kids we basically have a small Walgreens. Mm -hmm. So anything you can find at Walgreens, I probably have it in my closet. So like if, if you need something, reach mm -hmm. out because we can get you connected. We're back to wrap up in a moment, so please stay right there.